Gastroparesis is an unfortunate condition that involves uh, severe nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain for a number of patients, especially those with diabetes. And some of these patients have severe symptoms enough that they're not able to really eat or drink enough to sustain themselves on their own. So having seen a lot of these patients in clinic for the last decade, uh, we started to think about this condition in detail and understood that the gut itself is relatively numb in these patients, yet their symptoms are very severe. So this disconnect between patient symptoms and what they're experiencing suggested there may be some problem with the nerves going from the stomach to the brain. In that vein, we tested a couple of patients uh, in, a, in an earlier study um, to see if this potential treatment that we call repetitive magnetic stimulation that's used in patients with depression could also help with patients having this condition. Instead of stimulating the brain, we decided to take the magnet and put it in the mid-back and stimulate the spinal nerves that go from the stomach to the brain. So here's the setup that we employ with patients. We have this repetitive magnetic coil um, that basically treats patients with a tapping frequency about 1,200 times on each side of the back for five days in a row. Now, I have patients that come to me and be like, Doc, I've had this problem for many, many decades. How is five days of treatment going to help this condition? And the answer is, is we believe that this repetitive magnetic stimulation changes the properties of these spinal nerves that communicate between the stomach and the brain. We took the data and we applied for a grant to the NIDDK, a branch of the NIH that involves digestive diseases, and we've moved to a sham controlled trial. So we moved into a phase of the study where we were seeing if this treatment, compared to a treatment like this treatment, a sham that looks exactly the same, is actually showing benefit in patients when they're randomized to either the fake treatment or the real treatment. So currently we're enrolling about 50 patients in this study between our site at Augusta University and the Boston site, which is at Mass General Hospital associated with Harvard. And we're randomizing in between the fake treatment and two different types of settings on the same treatment. And we look forward to finishing up the study, a three-year study. Uh, we've done just one year of it uh, in the next two years, and hopefully being able to prove that this treatment is effective for our desperate patients with diabetic gastroparesis.